Borno State Governor Zulum don't lambast soldiers who they collect a gunja from passengers for checkpoints. Shites don't begin with Nogogri Waka inside Abuja on top of the killing of Iranian general. Azizat Oshola, Victor Osimen, and Samuel Chukweze don't set for the 2019 CAF Award. And Bauchi State Government don't discover 600 civil servants and personnel who don't kaput for their payroll. My people, good afternoon, and thank you, say you join us for As It Take Happen for Wazobia Max TV. My name is Nna Douglas, and for the first one, Borno State Governor Babagana Zulum don't blast soldiers and police sake of how they leave their work. They collect a gunje, what you know, you they call bribe from passengers along the Medugri Damaturu Expressway. Governor Zulum accused them on Monday when he visited the highway for Northeast. The visit happened sake of one report with. We talk to security people we then sent to do security work for highway, go lock the road down, we go make passengers they stranded. They accuse soldiers say then they then they for the habit to they collect one thousand naira from passengers when no get national ID card. But when did they chuck a mouth on top of the matter? But no state governor where they vex on top of this one, test soldiers and police where they collect bribe from road. Say make them stop this badness. He threatened say if this bribe collection matter continue, he don't get choice than to report them. He said, "No go allow them to collect money from innocent civilians." No woman needs to accept since morning. Boko Haram is attacking and again and then and so and so and so and so because there is no that nobody should do something. We have seen it that is for their own reaction, Nigerian Army talks didn't go touch light the accusation of bribe where no state governor accused army people were then sent to go do security work. One statement where Nigerian Army Operations Media Coordinator, Colonel Aminu Ilias to give to the people for Monday talks say. As army institution will be professional and they get discipline, so they, they, they go take this accusation very serious. He talks say army be done thoroughly touch light one accused where they summon some soldiers before them and they don't punish people who get hand for the badness. The army come assure Nigeria and say they go touch light the matter and any soldier who they find out say he get hand for the bribe issue go enter hot soup. The statement can talk say the one way one get person like Governor Zulum they vex on top of this matter fits for the better achievement to army down record on top insurgency and other criminal badness across the country. And for the next story, for other news, members of Islamic movement inside Nigeria, where everybody knows as Shites, on Monday, lead one with no go gri waka inside Banex for Use area of FCT Abuja. The Shite members where they protest on top of the killing of one general from Iran, Kasim Soleimani, sake of one airstrike by United States of America, also demands a make Sheikh Ibrahim El Zazaki and his wife Zinat will still there for detention now. According by report, Shite members where they where they vex carry one with no go gri waka enter Abuja Street, where they call the Hala for Yiboma language say death to America. And also they come burn American flag and carry many write-ups where they condemn America sake of the Kaputin of Soleimani will be general from Iran. And from there, make we enter Port Tarkot. Plenty of candidates will want seat for joint admission and matriculation board, JAMB, don't show face inside the Port Tarkot office of National Identity Management Commission as they try to get their national identity number before the January 13th deadline we, we then put before them or when they go begin register for the Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination where everybody know as UTME. JAM Registrar Professor Ishak Oloyode insists saying that only candidates will get the national ID number now then go, uh, then go register for the Tertiary Institution Matriculation Examination we go begin this year. Professor Oloyode talks say JAM and National ID Card Management Commission, NIMC, what they call NIMC, will bring together the information of candidates for the Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination to reduce cost of registration, check under age registration, and reduce Mago Mago for exam. The collab between both federal government joint body will make sure, say, only students from 15 years and above fit seats for the exam. But on top of this level, Wazobia Max TV correspondent, 
Emmanuel Onwuka, they join us from uh, the National ID uh, NIMC office inside Port Harcourt, will be River State, to give us update on top of this one. Good afternoon, Emmanuel. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, what will be the update on top of the um, jam and NIMC as students go through for NIMC office now? If you give, give us the latest update on top of this matter from Port Harcourt. Yes, right now, as they see around me, now only five days now remains before the jam registration portal will be open for across the nation. And right now, students, they try to use their last minute stay and ensure that they get their NIM number, will be national identification number for this NIMC place when they for here for Port Harcourt. Now this NIMC place, they get other outlets when they outside, but now here, now be the main place for inside the city of Port Harcourt. And now here students too, because for outside the place, some of the students, they complain that they ask them for money, but for here, now free of charge. So most of the students, they come here, they come to their registration, and to come to see how, if we say, this process go there faster for them, since now here be the headquarters for River State. Okay, now you did the Akurukuru and you see what they happen. What you go feel tell us about the process? The process, uh, they, 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 they find it easy to get these things. Abi, uh, it's very easy for them. How, how, how's the thing they go? How the process they go? Okay, yesterday, I did here yesterday and I also did here today and I don't talk to students when they're around, so prospective jam candidates when they're around here and I don't ask them about the process. From what I see by myself, inside here they crowded. They get a lot of people when they say they come, they, they struggle, they push, they try. But um, the people when they're here, they don't try to see how they fit, they make sure, say this thing they easier for students. The way when they take to that one, they say, they, they try to give the students numbers. So the students, they use the numbers, they, they go one after the other, so that the thing would be in form of like a queue or line, so that the thing would be very coordinated. But the crowd, they much for here, and the students, they complain, say, some of them, they complain, say, the thing they slow. Why other people they talk say the thing they fast? Now the person when I talk to this morning tell me say as at 11 o'clock night day here yesterday by 4:30 p.m. if he gain access into the building and by the, the next five o'clock if it finish and get the card. But some other people when they here they talk say the day here is November. Some people say the day here is the beginning of December and they never fit get that um, process. Now I ask the young man say how we take be say. If it gets this number so fast, when we say people they complain, and he tell me say what he do, be say he rush. He just they very close. They try to see how if they push himself, say enter inside. And he say say you know they just they late back. Say he just try push himself, enter inside that place. And I make him if they if it get this thing for. But some other people still get that complaint. Say the thing they slow because say the thing never reach their turn. And then they come over and over. They complain about their transport, about the money when they don't spend, even for lunch. Wait, they wait till they stand. And the thing just there five days, more people they they, they pump in, they come inside well. Okay, the last question I want to ask you, with the five days will remain well, for the deadline to uh, to this you think say they will beat this deadline, these five days will remain. I think say they will feel bitter. Um for now I'm not sure say anything like that will happen. Uh, but um, I don't already try to reach out to the jam uh, office for Port Harcourt here. May they also tell me what did they do um, in collaboration with NIMC when they for Port Harcourt to try to see how this thing will be easier for the children, for all those people when one write the exam. Uh, we know say the thing not the easy and as people once they pack they come, say the the, the volume will be very stressful on them and the, the thing will be overwhelm them. So what do they try to be say? Will they try to work talk to jam to also tell us what they do? With NIMC to see say this thing go day faster for the student before this deadline, before this portal open for them to begin the register for their jam. Okay, thank you, Manuel Amuka, for that update uh, from the Garden City of Port Harcourt. Thank you for that one. And for the next story, six people where they stay for Buari, where government been kidnapped for Christmas period, they don't regain their freedom. When did they confirm their release, Chiamo for Buari Area Council, John Gabaya, talks to these people where kidnappers abduct from different locations inside Buari, don't regain their freedom after uh, their families pay some money, what they call ransom. Now, we want to thank God for the past three, four days now that the people that were kidnapped yesterday, they were released by the, the, the kidnappers. And by the grace of God today, we are thanking God for what he has done. And for now, we have no any incidents of kidnappers. How many people, how many were kidnapped? Uh, people that were kidnapped, uh, of two sets. The first people were three, 
and the last set people also were three. And all of them have been released. With their family now? With their family now. Did you pay ransom? Yes. Ransom was paid. By the grace of God, the family had to contribute the, to pay the ransom for their... Uh, their I make it no forget say people where they live for Zuma community inside Buari for weekend being raised alarm sake of the kidnap of one woman Josephine Danlami with the around 20 years for first January 2020. And as she be the financial secretary person with the whole money for Evangelical Church of West Africa, where everybody knows as Equa. And for the next story, Nigeria Electricity Regulatory Commission NEC don't talk say they don't get any plan to increase money for light for customers. Nick Yan, Yan said they plan to cross check tariff, that is to review money for light. Now, part of their work uh, as people with a chook eyes for anything will consign electricity for the country. And uh, then they, they do this review two times every year. Nick Chiamo, Professor James Momo, we yan this one for Monday for one press conference inside Abuja. They organized and sake of the 11th edition of the International Conference on Top Energy, Power System Operation and Planning will go soon happen. He talks, say, Difference day between tariff review and increase, just as they assure Nigeria and say, before they take any decision where concern either to increase or reduce tariff, the commission will meet with people with Sabi for power sector to agree on top of the matter. Review, okay, is what we are mandated to do as a regulator. We are to do it twice a year. We've done the first one around June. January is here, thank God. That is what we have no we have no other option but to do our job. And don't take us for granted, we must do our job. We have done the review and it's subject to public consultation. In the next three months, Dr. Arabi, the entire commissioners, and myself will be running from place to place to inform you, to engage you, just like we've done our job for consultation. The other is simply a communication of what we have done as a regulator looking at what it takes to increase or decrease um, tariff. If at the end of our meeting back and forth, we say no increase, no increase. There is going to be increase, it will be based on our engagement at the public forum. On our feet, remember, say for Saturday on top of their website, NEC being approved increase on top electricity tariff by 11 electricity, electricity distribution companies inside the country. And for the next story, make we enter Bauchi State. Report talks say nearly 600 civil servants and pensioners were on kaput, now then they discover for the payroll of Bauchi State government. Chamo of the State Authentication Exercise Committee, Adamo Gumba. Now he talked this one on Monday for one press conference inside Bauchit State. He talked, say, people don't die with a number about 596. Now then they for the state government payroll and they don't collect salary for many, many years now. He had said the government don't put more than 4,000 people for the same payroll under suspicion, say they be ghost workers. Gumba explains, say, the committee don't complete their assignment and they go submit their report with list of recommendation to the state governor, Bala Mohamed. And from Bauchimek, we enter Kano State. Kano State Road and Traffic Agency, where everybody knows as Karota, talks, say, they don't grab one bus where they move plenty of alcohol and hard drugs where they ban for the state. Karota Tok Tok person Nab Nabilusib Abubakar Kenaisa now announced this one for one statement on Monday. He talks and sees this one for Sanyolu Street for the Sabongeri area of the state when they go around to check moto for that area. According by Kenaisa, the driver of the moto will even get police escort be no green, make them search the moto. The driver of the moto bro leg run as the police as the authority arrest the police escort plus including the conductor. They don't send hand over waiting and seize to Kano State his bar board for further touch lighting and necessary action. But on top of this one, what uh, they happen now, or what don't happen now for Kano, our Wazobia Max TV correspondent, Dumebi or Dumegu, bring us a live update on top uh, as it take happen for Kano State. Uh, Dumebi, good afternoon this afternoon. Good afternoon to you too. Yeah, what do you go tell us about the update on top of this uh, latest arrest of people who carry alcohol and hard drugs? What will be the latest uh, development for this level? 
Well, the latest devil, according by how the Deputy Commander General of Operations, Naimi Malam Shew, Ishak Tasio, Asimade Yangi was over Max TV this afternoon. He said the people then arrest when they carry the big, big alcohol together with the prohibited drugs and enter the state. He said they don't arrest them. Even talk said the security joint body person, when they escort the motor, they don't carry that one and hand them over to police. And even the young said the drugs for inside the so um, carriers have been carried come to their office. Say the drugs did not consign them. Say the only one we consign them na the alcohol. I see my give up the calculator of the alcohol now. He talks to the alcohol also now 30 jury cans of 50 liters each. And he talks to the ones that finish investigation on top of this one. Say everybody will be say their hand is dirty on top of them. When people then arrest the conductor, the security man, it's all of them, they will carry them enter inside the courts of lawyer. Okay, what do you go tell us about the um the driver of the motor don't run now? They don't arrest them, I'll be then still a final. What? Well, he, according to how you take here, and he talks to they never get any updates now. Say police never give them information whether they don't see the driver to arrest and be the never see him to arrest. But when he talks to he knows say once a clever people arrest the guy, they will give them updates so that they will pack all of them on top prosecution matter, go take all of them enter inside court once and for all. Okay, Dumabi, thank you. Say you give us uh, that update on the information on what thing they happen for Kano State. Thank you very much. Okay, the, for the next story, as the new year don't show face, they don't advise Nigerians say make them try to create time out with their busy work to relax with their families. As that one go help bring family together and even maintain happy family with Kajad body. This one are the message of families who come out to celebrate with their loved ones for the yearly family fun fair where cool Wazobia Info and Wazobia Max TV organized last weekend for the nation's capital for Abuja. According to these families, we find time to come relax. Uh, people will come find time to relax with their families uh, away from their home. Uh, see, this can uh, fun fair not only encourage peace and harmony, but it also give long life. Make we hear them. The way they grow up, they're always at home, church, service, go back home, eat rice, visit family, friends, that's all. But to go out, <laughs> but to go to other places and have fun, it's just of recent we started having it. So Very, very good. They even uh, add a life, uh, more to our lifespan. It makes us happy, makes us grow well than sitting at home, taking care of family problems and all that. Like all the time we've been here, we've just been laughing, laughing. Every little thing makes us laugh. But had it been we're at home, we'll just be thinking of this one, that one. So it's good to have relaxation just like the one we are having right now. And we pray such thing continues. And you push should go out further to is it uh, tell people that it's good to do, it's worth doing. They should come out and once in a while to have such fun around them. Well, it's good to sit out as a family. We did not just come as husband and wife, as um, watermelon and um, expensive guy that we are, but but we came with other members of our family. So it has afforded the opportunity to sit together, interact. And we've not done that since um, the Yuletide. Yeah. Well, all right, now your advice now to Nigerian families. Family. Yes, my advice to families. Yes. Yes. Like this. Oh, yes, my advice to families as regards events like this that they should find time. You know, in Nigeria, we are busy, it's work, work, work. You know, this is just an atmosphere of relaxation. And also to get to know the people that you hear on radio every day, you listen to on radio, it's a lot of fun. And then it also um, allows us to interact. You know, like we are doing our children are together, having fun, getting to know other families, getting to know other children. So for me, that's it. But we are happy to be here today because uh, especially is our guy. And uh, we are here to rejoice with um, others' family who are here. And uh, we are happy to be here. They are not here today. Uh, uh, this is an advice to you to tell you that I think you need to be here to see what I saw today because you come here, you will catch a lot of fun. So many people win a lot of gifts today. Even me, myself, he get the picking of the old people. I catch a lot of fun and I get a lot of gifts from here today. And when they yarn on top of this family fun fair, head of station for Cool Wazobia Info FM and Wazobia Max TV, James Expensive talks to the yearly family fun fair where the station they organize, an opportunity to take bring the station and people where they listen to the radio station and watch the TV together as one big and united family. Family fun fair. You know, we get a lot of uh, games. So you go know whether your papa sabi do something because if you know do that thing where your papa they cost you for house. So an opportunity for us to engage the parents. Say, oh yeah, papa come. 
mama come oya oh yeah, make una dance yeah. you know oya oh yeah, make una do ball juggling make una throw volleyball basketball make una run make una do tug of war Level. Your children will see where you they lack, so that next time you too you go improve. It's not easy to organize this kind of thing. This is China in Nigeria, you know. So at the same time, those we no day here. Make gonna try as much as possible when we hear this kind of thing they happen. Make gonna you see poverty. Uh, it was past a disease. You know, you go say, I ah, don't get money, you go to kill yourself, you don't go get that money. But when you make up your mind, say, you won't go, the money go show. Are you getting me? You relax, you know, your morale, go, your thinking go change. And you go sleep well, you go think well, you go talk well to your children. You understand? Well, because you get some parents every day, now swear, swear, swear for their begin. Swear, swear, swear for their children. You know, it affect them indirectly, but they know they know. But when you do this kind of atmosphere, like you go be happy, you go call your Peking. I love you. You know, you go support your Peking when they do dance competition or spelling bee or any of those things. You know, you go, you go, they make my Peking win, no, make my Peking. Ah, no, no, say my Peking get talent like this. You know, different kind of engagement. Now what they do for here. So the fact be say now something what they do yearly, and we're happy to do. I'm not be saying now money will be fine, but those they want the parents to come together. My country people, don't forget to say you still there for us. It take happen on top of Zobia Max TV. Business next with a show back. And inside business news, federal government talks say the 2019 finance bill, where they, where, where they sign, where they go sign to law, will make sure say small business with turnover of money, where they less than 25 million naira, no go pay company income tax. As it be, they expect say every company is supposed to pay federal government 30 percent of their profit as company income tax. Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed talks say, as soon as they sign the bill to law. Companies where they make turnover of less than 25 million naira no go follow pay the, uh, the tax as those where they earn between 25 million naira and 100 million naira yearly go pay 20% as company income tax. The minister talks that those where they earn money will pass 100 million naira go continue to pay the 30% of their profit as CIT. It remains post news where they come. And on top sports news, names of Nigerian football footballers like Aziza Toshola, Victor Simen, and Samuel Chikweze on top of the 2019 say their names day for uh, the 2019 CAF Awards ceremony. The ceremony will happen for Albatross Citadel Salhashi Shurgada inside Egypt for Tuesday night. Super Falcons captain Aziza Oshola, they highly favor for her to win her fourth African Woman Player of the Year crown. We will make her day equal with the achievement of her fellow Nigerian player, Perpetua Nkwacha. Super Eagles player Samuel Chikweze and Victor Osimen, they battle for the Young Player of the Year award with Akraf Hakimi of Morocco. With the way things they go now, it be like say Nigerian Super Falcons go back the award of Women's National Team of the Year since they don't successfully retain their continental crown inside Ghana for December 2018 and can't reach the knockout stage of the FIFA Women's World Cup for France for last year's summer. Now the Tory be that my people, but make I tell you now our top Tory again. Borono State Governor Zulum Don Lambas soldiers will they collect a gunje from passengers for checkpoint. Shites don't begin with no go green waka inside Abuja on top of the killing of Iranian general. Azizat Oshola, Victor Simen, and Samuel Chukweze don't set for CAF 2019 awards. And for the last one, we tell you now, say, Bauchi State Government don't discover 600 civil servants and pensioners with on kaput for their payroll. Thank you, my people, say so you join us on top as it take happen. My name is Nina Douglas, 8 o'clock and another time. To enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.